Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and stick around because today we're going to be talking about handmade American custom match ammunition that is extremely affordable. Quick finishing pass, not too bad. No problem, you did. Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. He saved him on the range. So I met the owner, Jim, from US Reloading Supply through Full 30 Forms, which I highly recommend going over there. And we talked a bunch about shooting, and he was asking me what the temperature would be where I shoot, the elevation, the barometric pressure, the humidity, even barrel length, and gave him all that information. And Jim was kind enough to make up some ammunition and send it on his dime so we could review it here. So thank you very much, Jim. So here's a 308 that was sent. You can see that this is outfitted with Starline brass. Uh, this is a 168 grain, looks like a Sahara Match King projectile. Obviously, I don't have the secret makeup of everything that's inside of it. That's a closely guarded secret. Here's another uh, 223 round, if I can get that to focus. Starline Brass as well. 75 grain Sahara Match King as well. So, let's talk a little bit about his company. He started reloading back in 1972 and throughout his military career also. He obtained an ATF Type 6 license and started manufacturing ammo. In 2012, U.S. Reloading Supply has been supplying reloaders and shooters alike with high-quality reloading supplies and components at a price that competes with the biggest reloading suppliers in the industry. They carry everything from Starline brass like you see here to measuring equipment, die sets, powders, primers, books on reloading, ammunition from factory loadings to custom handmade stuff like this for the match, and even rarer things like 7.62x54 brass or 45 gat brass. They've got all sorts of stuff. Even a use section for the guys that just want to get into it a little cheaper. So it really is a one-stop shop for the reloader. They offer things like free shipping as long as you spend $25 worth of stuff. They also have a 100% guarantee for their reloading components. And that's something that you just can't find everywhere. Take, for example, U.S. Reloading Supply also sells custom hand-loaded match ammunition for the 6.5 Creedmoor. And for 20 rounds, it's $39.50, which I think is a big value. Because I've also spent a lot of money on 6.5 Creedmoor, and I've definitely spent more than a couple bucks a round on it, trust me. So let's go out to the range and see what this ammunition can do and put it through its paces. And keep in mind that I am not a professional shooter, I do not shoot competition, and I have no huge history of long-range shooting. I'll be putting it through a few different rifles so you can see the results. And uh, it is very cold out right now. I will leave a snapshot of all the weather conditions currently at the range. All right, everyone, we're at the range now. Got some of the US Reloading Supply 308 in a Seiko TRG Model 22 with a 26 inch barrel. Uh, it snowed about a foot today but it did warm up, it's 25 degrees Fahrenheit right now. The humidity is 70%. Uh, wind's coming out of the northwest at 11 miles per hour, so it feels like it's 14 degrees out. And the pressure is 30.14 uh, HG, which is inches of mercury. And uh, we got a couple targets set up at 100 yards, and we're gonna see if we can get some groups out of this.
All right. All right, so I'm going to say this again, not a competition shooter, not a sniper, I'm not some great accurate guy behind a rifle, just a citizen that likes to shoot. It is really cold and that 11 mile per hour wind is kicking me around, but we're going to see what kind of groups we can get. I, just shot some more, decided to shoot uh, all six plates before we walk down here. We're gonna see what we get. Ooh, it's cold. All right. So here are the six plates. This is literally the first group just goes across. Let's see what this one has. That's looking like 1.350, this five shot group. Center to center. Looks like 1.102. Center to center on this group, oops, sorry. 1.462 Center to center on this group 1.925 Center to center on this group is 1.490 And this one, the last group That is going to be 0.745. So that's pretty nice. So those, those are the 168 grain hollow tip boat tail 308 rounds. So now let's go load up some of those 75 grain 223s. So the wind is kicking up a little bit more, so I want to kind of get this stuff done. This is the 75 grain open tip boat tail 223 ammunition from US Wilderness Supply. And we'll be shooting it out of the POF 415. We've got the uh, primary arms AC SS reticle. Isn't the best reticle for accurate shooting, but the nice part about it is it has a bullet drop compensator on it. So let's take some shots with this, see how it does.
So I'm hoping the wind dies down a little bit for these lighter projectiles. It really hasn't. Let's see what we got. All right, here are all the targets. Those are all six. Let's measure them up. Uh, this was definitely, uh, that was definitely all me. 2.370, second one out of the gate. That's going to be nine point, or excuse me, <laughs> point nine nine eight. This one trailed off again. I'm sure that was me, but measured anyways. Like I said, you can tell the wind's kind of messing with everything right now. That's just a little over three, three point zero two zero. Oh. fourth group oh, I gotta get a little bit more there we go that's gonna be a 1.076 fifth group 1.480 And the sixth group is going to be a 1.610. So yeah, that's going to be our nice group of the day. That one was also, that wasn't too bad either. All right, so I'm going to let the SIG 716 take a shot at these 168 grainers, these zero weights. Um, it's just a SIG 716 first gen, uh, got a Leopold 1 to 4 uh, hog plex scope on it. It's cold out. It's never done that before. Cold. Okay. Just want to see what the SIG can do with. The last of that ammo. So we got two targets here, one on the left, one on the right. Oh, well, that's a nice group right there. That flyer is going to ruin it for everyone, though. Let's see what this says. I'm going to call that 2.055. If it wasn't for that flyer, it'd be a 0.855. This wasn't anything to write home about necessarily. Yeah, this is gonna be big. 
This is during that failure to feed. And we're at uh, 3.75, a little more. Put those nice three right there. Hold on. That's 0.931. Anyhow. Well, I know you guys can't feel this at home, but I'm getting inside. My hands are just numb. My toes are numb. We'll take a look at these uh, targets inside where it's nice and warm. So we're just driving back now. It actually got a little colder. We're at 19 degrees Fahrenheit and the wind did pick up again, unfortunately. Hun, did you enjoy shooting today? Yes. You did enjoy shooting today. Was it cold? Yes. Yes, okay. I got one 30 round Meg and then I was done. All right, well, it's better than nothing, right? So that US reloading supply ammunition ran absolutely great for me. Very accurate, got some uh, sub inch groups at 100 not to make any excuses for anything but it's very cold and windy and i'm sure that uh shooting from a lead sled would uh deliver even more accuracy and but it's nice to know that you know ammo that is as, as cheap as it is to go buy out of normal rifles you can just go and pick up at a uh, sporting goods store <laughs> that you can get so many groups and conditions like this with a shooter like me so anyhow Remember, loose is fast, brakes only slow you down, and uh, custom-made match ammunition doesn't always have to cost you an arm and a leg. Be safe and have fun on the range.